Okay, and thanks for checking out my video. Tonight I'm going to show you how to update a brand new controller that just came out of the box, and I'm going to show you how to restore a program that you already had uh, created. So let's say that you've gone to a customer's house and you're replacing a controller, so you want to use their old uh, program and you want to just be able to upload it. So let's get started. First things first, I'm going to open up Composer. Now, a lot of times you're not going to know what Composer version things are running. I usually just open up the newest, the latest and greatest. Uh, when I do that, I'm going to click on a local system because I want to connect to something that is already there, it already exists. And you'll see this time two come up, that's because this is my main house and this is the one that I'm playing with tonight to show you how to update. So I'm going to go ahead and click the connect button. The first dialog box that pops up is going to tell me that uh, I've never connected to it before and ask me if I want to trust it. So we're just going to give it a second and we'll wait for it. Okay, potential security breach. It's changed certificates. So this means that uh, I've connected to this before <laughs> um, and it's asking me if I want to trust it. So I am going to do that because yes, I did connect to this before. Um, so yes, we hit the yes button. Uh, driver connection failed. Yeah, I'm going to continue. And here's why it failed. The controller you're running, uh, it's 2.53. So I can't make any changes to this controller without using 2.5.3. So anytime that you jump into a project and you're on the wrong thing, it's going to tell you that you're on the wrong thing. So I'm going to hit the OK button. I'm going to exit out of this bad boy. And I am going to go open up 2.5.3. Yes, I want to open it. It's going to load itself. I always get that little box, click OK. And I'm going to connect to the local network. There's the HC250 you want to connect to. And I'm going to hit the connect button. So now we're going to chill, we're going to hang out, we're going to wait for this to do it. Yeah, it's OK. It's an old controller. It's being a butthead. So the only thing that I'm going to do in this version is I'm going to add a controller to it. So you can't do an update if the controller isn't added to the project. So first and foremost, I'm going to go to drivers. I'm going to find an HC250, I'm going to double click it, I'm going to add that into this project. I don't care about anything, I don't care how this is named, none of this matters. I'm only doing this so that I can perform the update. Now I'm going to go to connections because I have to connect this controller to the project. I'm going to come over to the right hand side, I'm going to find an HC250, I'm going to drag it and drop it into the address. Now we're connected. That's all I have to do. I am done with 2.53. I don't want to see it anymore. I'm going to exit out of it. I'm not making a backup. Um, every time you do something on a project, you need to do a backup. Since we're just updating, who cares? It's not really a project. So I'm going to go back into 2.8. This time when we connect to the system, we're going to see that there is an HC250 already in the project. That's what we needed. Okay, so it says here we can update the system but we get read-only access. All we get to do is update. So I'm gonna hit the OK button. Now, before you can update a system, it has to be registered. So I'm gonna to go to Tools and Account Services. I'm going to register this controller onto an account. Now, fortunately, I've already created an account for us and it's called the Advanced Update Account. So once this gets done authenticating, I apologize, my computer's running slowly because we're screen capturing and recording. It's gonna pick up all our dealer accounts. And okay, so you'll see it says no response to the check-in and the controller is not registered. So I'm gonna select an account. And let's actually talk about add a new account. If you were at a customer's and you'd never created an account for the customer, you would give it a name, you would put in the first name of the customer, the last name and their email address and add the account that would give us the option to go ahead and register this. Now, if you're using somebody with an old account or you can go and manually do it using the mycontrol4.com, I don't recommend it because it's a pain in the butt. So I'm gonna select an account and I know that it's called Advanced Update, so I'm gonna click on Advanced Update. It's gonna download the information for Advanced Update. It's gonna tell us that somebody's already registered to it most likely uh, because this is the account I always use. All right, so here it goes. And I don't know uh, controllers registered. I'm gonna hit the register button. It's gonna go ahead and register it. 
And this is gonna be the last step we have to do before we can update the controller. So I'm gonna hit close here. Controller is registered, done, we win. Close, now we're gonna to go to tools and the update manager. You will get an error if you fail to register the controller before you try to update it. It will give you, you know, unused call exception or some, some crazy questions and tell you that, you know, it doesn't work. Um, so we can see that the current version is 2.5.3 and we're gonna update it to 2.8.0. So I'm gonna click the update version. I'm gonna request an email when I get done. You can put in any email address here since this is just for fun. I'm actually not gonna do it because I don't really care. And then click begin update. Do you wanna make a backup? Again, if this was something that was an actual project, so let's say that you had a real project in here and you're updating them, then yes, please save yourself a backup. You will be crying if you update and it fails or has a problem and you can't go and reload that project. Um, so as a general practice, whenever you connect to a controller for the first time, whenever you show up to the customer's house, before you start messing with it, make a copy of it. Um, even if it's not working and save it as broken, but at least you have your starting point. So I'm not gonna do that on this one because there's nothing there and I don't really care. This is gonna go through an entire process. I'm not gonna make you sit here and wait while this thing updates, but this is it. Eventually, this thing is gonna close out and I'm gonna be disconnected from the director and I will get the opportunity to reconnect to it. So do this for any new controllers straight out of the box. Get them updated before you even start playing with them, before you start building the project. Okay, so that's it. In this video, we uh, covered uh, how to connect to a driver or to a uh, controller. We talked about how to create a new account. We talked about how to register the controller. And last but not least, how to update it. So thanks for checking out my video and uh, hopefully this is helpful.